Hello Kitty Island Adventure Update 1.6 Cabins and Castles is almost here. It's coming out this week and it's bringing a ton of new super cute stuff with it. We'll be seeing new characters, new areas, new materials, and a ton of improvements, enhancements. This is looking like a huge update. So let's go over some of the things that we were pretty sure were coming or we knew were coming and then let's look at some of the new stuff that was just revealed today. So some basic things that we knew were coming are actually a bunch of fixes for flowers and improvements for the flower breeding. So flowers and seeds will finally stack in 1.6. So that should make it so much easier to see what you have and make new seeds and make a ton of fertilizer really quickly. We should also finally have flower labels. I know it's really difficult to differentiate between some of those blue green colors and the different pinks. Now we should have labels for those. which will make it so much easier. We also hear that a cute new efficient way to water those flowers is coming and I know my fingers could definitely use a rest. So hopefully this will make it a lot more efficient, much easier, much faster faster to tend to our flowers. In 1.5, our current version of the game, there is a bug where if you have crossbred flowers using that gradient transfer, so if you have, say, a white tulia, you are unable to breed your white tulia with all your other Tulia. So if you wanted a blush Tulia, the only way you could get it is by having a blush and another flower transfer its color over. In 1.6, this bug is finally going to be fixed. So you'll be able to breed your white Tulia with all your other Tulias to make all the different tints. And we'll finally be able to get Periwinkle, Magenta, and some of those other colors that can only come from crossbreeding. So you may want to set up your flower plots now to take advantage of that bug being gone so you can breed all those new colors. Now we also so we're anticipating a bunch of stuff coming to cabins, a way to have more room for visitors. It's possible we may be able to sit on furniture or put more than one item on a large table, but we don't have confirmation of either of those. And we do have confirmation that being able to move visitors around is going to be so easy because we are getting that cabin swap feature where you can just reassign them to a new cabin. This is something that we've been talking about for several updates now, and it's finally going to be here. And we're pretty sure we're getting additional levels with Wish We Know with new quests and rewards and hopefully we'll be able to see what her friendship power is. We also assume there'll be new quests and new puzzle rooms and part of our sneak peek showed us a lot of puzzle room area and we're of course anticipating a new level to Merry Meadow. And of course with the new biome we expect to see the other Gudetama to complete our dozen and we should be seeing new challenge courses because we only have half of the Merry Meadow challenge courses right now. So after we get those, if you complete them all, then you should be able to complete that trophy as well. And I wonder what other features may await us up there. We're also wondering, are we going to fully upgrade Wish Me Mel's friendship? And if we do, are we going to introduce Wish Me Mel to the Island Spirit? Are we going to continue the Island Spirit quest? We don't know yet if there's going to be big story quest, or if we'll be able to bring some more of our friends. We also saw these cryptic preview images last week. At least one of them looked like it might be a new material. And now I'm wondering, is that going to be part of the aqua faller? Is that going to be part of something else? Is it a bit of cloud? Is it a mushroom? Is it something related to a new character? We know we're unlocking the upper level of Merry Meadow, so we are really likely to get new materials, probably new critters. We haven't seen those butterflies that were in the promo image for Merry Meadow yet, so maybe they're going to be in the upper level. Is it going to be one level? Is it going to be multiple levels? We can see giant trees, walls, puzzle room blocks. But what do you think is going to be up there? It seems like there is a ton of room. I wonder if there's going to be more flower blocks. I wonder if there's going to be more types of flowers. I wonder if we may be seeing that other pattern, the trim pattern that we saw in the trailer for Merry Meadow, but hasn't been in game yet. Maybe we end up getting a way to unlock that. I still have plenty of flower types to breed, so I'm not sure I'm really looking for a new flower pattern right now. Let's look at the information we got just today. This is all official information. We'll read through some of it first and then we'll look at the trailer in more detail. It says upgrade your cabins with a huge makeover and get excited for the imagination celebration and Hello Kitty Island adventure. The cabin upgrades Aqua Faller and Merry Meadow expansions unlock on April 4th and we know that usually the updates drop the night before in the Eastern time zone so we'll be looking out for this tomorrow night on Wednesday and hopefully streaming it shortly after it drops. We'll probably be streaming after 6 p.m. Eastern. 
and it says the Imagination Celebration begins on April 15th. So you still have time for the Color Blaze Carnival and the Springtime Celebration. We should be seeing that finale calendar soon so we can finally get that Sakura hairpin. And then on April 15th, we'll kick off that Imagination Celebration. For cabin upgrades, it says, are you ready for the biggest cabin makeover ever? Now you can upgrade your cabins to make room for up to six visitors. Six visitors in one cabin. How many strawberry crates is this gonna cost us? I wish I had been doing more of the quest to stock up on the strawberry crates. I feel like there's no way I'm gonna have enough to upgrade these cabins. So hopefully this update comes with a ton more strawberry crates. And don't forget we are losing one thing, the kickout method for visitors. Where after completing their quest, you would move into their cabin to force them to leave, which made it seem like it gave you a better chance of them coming back just the next day. Well, no no longer work in 1.6. So there's no reason to kick out visitors when they're visiting because that will no longer give you an advantage. They say a brand new batch of quests and stories celebrating new and old friendships is coming, that we can throw an enchanted tea party, find the perfect slumber party spot, and more. Hear ye, hear ye, Princess Hello Kitty of Kingdom of Friendship invites you and all of her friends to the Imagination Celebration. Find the mystic stones before spooky Queen Karomi does and be richly rewarded. We'll look at more on this in just a minute, and then it says the mysterious foundation awaits beneath the waves. But what does it do? It tells us we carefully repair the aquafaller to bring back the rain and watch Friendship Island spring to life in new ways. How is it going to spring to life? Is this going to water our flowers for us so that we don't need to water them? But what other ways could it spring to life? I wonder if maybe this has something to do with unlocking more of Merry Meadow. And this aqua faller is just one of the new ways to water flowers more easily in 1.6. We're also getting a cute way to efficiently water our flowers. And these are two different things that has now been confirmed. So we're going to have a way to have it rain and we're going to have some other really cute options for watering our flowers as well. They also tell us Merry Meadow has even more to discover. Magic Beanstalks guide the way to the meadow's upper glades, revealing treasures and secret rooms. They say there's a tip that you'll want to dust off those puzzle solving skills. So maybe we're going to have to do some sort of puzzle room sequence in order to unlock this area. I'm also interested because they say Magic Beanstalks plural, so we may be looking for multiple beanstalks. It does say they guide the way, so are we going to see beanstalk puzzles maybe? They also tell us that new visitors are coming. Hello Kitty's mom and dad are finally arriving, and of course they're going to need to be in Seaside Resort to be near Hello Kitty, so we're going to have to do those upgrades so that we can fit more visitors there. Or maybe there's another option too. They say Poco and Chico will also be visiting and can't wait to stop by and say hello Hello to you and Wish Me Mel. I had to look them up, but they are adorable friends of Wish Me Mel's little cat and panda bear. I do wonder a tiny bit about Poco Paco, because in the wiki it mentions that he once gave Wish Me Mel an egg which hatched into the dragon Nina. I wonder if we could see a new visitor quest in the future that would maybe help us unlock Nina as a visitor. Maybe not in this update, maybe in a future one. Looking at this trailer, there is even more. The trailer starts off with what appears to be the imagination celebration and we can see my melody, Hello Kitty and Karomi and our character all in fantasy outfits in different colors. And there's one of these mystic stones spinning over Hello Kitty's head and there's a swirl of rainbow light. We can see that there looks to be a ton of clothing and I wonder if these are going to be customizable, craftable, maybe both. So it looks like we have a mage's outfit with the robes and the hat and then there's also kind of that cone princess-like hat and dress. We can see that these mystic stones are going to be the collectible for the event. So far with the collectible items, most of the time we have an event stand. Also with this event, we see the characters and our characters standing on what appears to be a castle. These stones look very much like the ones that we see in Merry Meadow. So is this going to be something related to the event? It almost looks like our character may be wearing a knight's outfit. I like that the other characters are dressing up for this. I don't think we've seen them do that very much with the event so far. And then we have this underwater machine. It almost looks like some sort of a piano slash computer. It almost 
almost looks like it should make sound. But you can see there's a button down there on the star that has a rain cloud. It is a purple rain cloud and it kind of reminds me a little bit of some of our earlier top hat quests. So I wonder how this is going to work. But this seems most likely to be that aqua faller that they tell us about. So it seems likely that this quest is how we're going to get rain on the island. But what that rain brings, we don't know yet. But they do show it raining in unlikely places like on Gemstone Mountain. And look at the outfit that this character is wearing. This is an adorable rubber ducky rain outfit. So I wonder how we're going to get that. If that's going to be something with Tuxedo Sam just giving it to us. Some sort of an achievement related to this event. Maybe we do this and then it rains and then Tuxedo Sam starts making rain gear. That's either part of a login bonus that he gives us as part of a quest. Maybe there's a new material that helps us make it. Or maybe it just starts showing up in the shop. And then we get to see the cabin upgrade. And they show us a few different cabins and they show them to us in different sizes. So they say we can have up to six visitors in the same cabin, but I think we only see three different stages of cabins. So we have the ones that we have now, an intermediate, and then a third stage. So I wonder how we will be upgrading, how this is going to work. Maybe we add additional rooms in the first one. Maybe we add a floor in the next one. And how many strawberry crates is this going to cost me? I wonder if there's going to be any restrictions on who can live with who? Like, do I have to put all of one character together? Or do you think any of the visitors could mix together? Also, when we look at the cabins, you can see that the flower box now has leaves growing out of it and has three dirt little circles. So I wonder if the leaves are going to stay when we plant our flowers so that it looks a little bit more full. I know this was something I had asked for because they look a little bit empty just having all of the dirt and then the couple of flowers. In this scene with the cabin, we are with both Kiki and Lala and they don't typically hang out near the cabins. So I wonder if we'll finally be able to have them along as our buddy. Would they both come? Maybe they function as a single character and we can buddy up with them. Or this could be just for the trailer. If we do get them as our buddy, what do you think their friendship powers are going to be? And after that, then we see this interior and it has three rooms off of it. Each one is labeled A, B, and C. Now it comes right after the cabins. So I think there's a possibility that we're seeing the interior of one of those cabin upgrades and then maybe the letters so that we could assign visitors to specific rooms within the cabin or that the letters serve the same as the cabin numbers to let you know which rooms in which cabins fulfill that visitor's requirements. But then I start looking at the furniture and I'm looking at the character's outfit. I think this is a new top. Not sure, but I think so. And doesn't this look a little bit like a front desk? So is this maybe some sort of a hotel? Could this be the building behind Pachaco? We also have new plants in here. I don't think I've ever seen a potted palm tree before. So it seems likely that there are additional unlocks, maybe rewards. Maybe we're getting a hint at a mini event. I think the table we see here is new as well. Even the tiny plant. So there's something going on with this picture. And I'm not sure which of the things they're telling us. It could be new versions of furniture and new furniture items. And this is is the cabin interior on the first or second upgrade or this could be the building behind Panchaco. The character having a new outfit really makes me wonder. And then after this the character goes into each of the rooms and in the first room we see what has to be the imagination celebration set. You can see a tiny event stand over in the corner so it does look like it's going to be another one of those where we probably exchange event currency for items. We have a table and several benches which also appear to function as partitions. We have these pillars with torches, a bed, floor, wall, a chair, and those banners that we saw earlier in the trailer. And it definitely looks like our character is wearing a suit of armor. So I'm hoping because we see multiples of things that the event balance makes it easy to get multiples. Also note, the character is also sitting in the chair. And I don't know if they're just standing on it and using the sit function on the camera or if you can actually sit in furniture in 1.6 or if this is simply something for the trailer. We know we usually see things in the trailer that aren't really in the game. In the next room we see another rain hat. It's this little red one. I don't know the Hello Kitty set well enough to know if any of these are new but this wallpaper with the bay window is definitely new. I think the window is probably a feature of an upgraded cabin and this wallpaper 
is actually animated. So it looks like it's raining on the wall. And then in room C, we see another rain outfit. This one is plain yellow, a hat, and a jacket. And we see another new wallpaper. This one also rainy with little duckies on it. So it looks like this one matches that first rain outfit that we saw. And we see it raining through the window. So there is definitely a ton going on with the rain. It seems like we're going to have a quest, but then there's all these different items related to it too. In the closing title, we see a lot focused on the castles. So we have banners, a tower exterior, a bridge, all of their outfits. You see a castle in the distance as well. And then we have a giant Karomi in the background. So I wonder with all of the castle imagery that we have in the walls of Merry Meadow, how much of that is going to become a real castle? Is that going to be the castle exterior that we see here? Or is all of the castle theming just around that event? Is the event, is the event and unlocking Merry Meadow going to go together? Are we going to see castle themed puzzles? Well, what do you think of all this? Are you excited? for update 1.6 cabins and castles do you think we're gonna see a real castle do you think somebody's gonna be inside a castle do you think the new puzzle rooms could be a castle what else do you think we'll see in the cabin side of the update i feel like we talked about this a while ago and i used to know everything that we were expecting and i feel like i've probably forgotten some things i wonder what wish me mel's friendship powers are gonna be is she gonna give us double triple quadruple fertilizer is she gonna make it so that if we do use our watering can we can water like 12 plots at a time and it automatically fertilizes them is it gonna be something even better than we haven't thought of maybe you can ask her to make it rain there are a ton of possibilities and i don't know what we're gonna check out first when we play this but luckily we don't have to wait very long for the update when it does drop most likely we'll have to go to the app store go to the game page in order to download it i'll try to either put a video or stream it or post in the discord or somewhere else once it drops and i'm planning to stream it after six on wednesday Wednesday if it drops on Wednesday so that we can check out everything together. And of course, look for more guides on the channel relating to 1.6. It looks like we're going to have a whole bunch of things to explore again. Subscribe for more Hello Kitty Island adventure content and be sure to check out the shop. I just added some more designs based on flowers and fertilizer. Turn on notifications to find out the next time we go live. Hope to see you there.